What do we really want in life? If we look underneath it all, we are seeking to be happy, to just be happy, to be okay. We're going to look at a Sanskrit word and see if it can help us with this. The word is Ananda. And if we look at the Monia Williams Dictionary, it gives us some suggestions as to how it may be translated. Ananda could be translated as happiness, joy, pure happiness, the thing wished for, the end of the drama. Let's look at it a little closer. It is made up of two parts. The first is the prefix, ah, which could be understood as completely. And then we have nanda. And if we look at the seed root of nanda, we find it is nand, which is in the realm of being glad, pleased, delighted, satisfied. So our nanda could be understood as being completely happy or blissful. According to Sri Shantananda Saraswati, who is a leading teacher of Advaita philosophy and has been guiding the school for many years, he said, the essential nature of all people is the same, Sat, Chit, Ananda, truth, consciousness and bliss. In other words, our essential nature is completely happy. Then why does everyone seem to be so unhappy in the world? Unhappy with government, unhappy with the state of society, unhappy with the personal life, unhappy with the body, unhappy with the relentless chatter in the mind. And even if one is relatively happy with any of these things, there's always room to improve. So we're not often completely happy. Let's unpack this happiness. There are really two types, pleasure and bliss. Pleasure arises when we fulfill physical, emotional and mental desires. This type of happiness is transient because it is based on the ever-changing nature of the physical, emotional and mental worlds. If we seek this type of transient happiness, we are bound to suffer. Why? Well, because if we get what we want, we're happy, we experience pleasure, but as soon as it's over, we experience loss. And if we don't get what we want, well, we immediately suffer. So we end, end up pulling and pushing our way through life, trying to get the things that we want and trying not to get the things that we don't want. This sounds like it could be a good definition of human suffering. Trying to control the physical, emotional and mental worlds to suit our likes and dislikes. On the other hand, bliss arises when we realize our essential nature. Who or what are you really? This type of happiness is complete and unending because it is based on the eternal nature of the spiritual world. The Shankaracharya also said this. He said, Bliss has nothing to do with pleasure, for it transcends pleasure and pain equally. It remains constant. Then what is the solution? Clearly, we need spiritual knowledge and practice of that knowledge so that we may come to know and experience our essential nature, sat 
Chit and especially Ananda. I had a recent experience and this was when a friend, a very dear friend, came to visit from Singapore where she had immigrated to a few years ago. We had such joy and happiness and sharing and yet as soon as she departed I felt a huge sense of loss. I was so sad. However, fortunately I had the memory from years of practice to fall deeply still and to return to myself to a sense of just being. And from this centeredness, I was able to embrace these tugs of emotion with love and gratitude, and so allow them to be released and let go. And I returned to feeling okay, peaceful, happy. So we need to ask ourselves, what do we truly want? Perhaps it's time to step off this roller coaster of suffering and realize we are indeed happiness itself. You already are what you are looking for. So thank you. Thank you for watching. And please remember to subscribe to our channel.